Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> whatever time, whatever the time of day that you are watching this, I hope you are doing great. I am feeling good. I want to share some things with you. And I'm not exactly sure uh, where all this video is going to go, but but uh, uh, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> come along, come along for a ride with me. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to show you uh, first was I have been, a few weeks ago, I put together some packets. Um, I put together 10 packets and the glassine bag that they're in measures 8 by 6 approximately and there are approximately 70 pages in each of the packets and I will be putting these in my Etsy shop when you see this video go up, you can also go, you know, to the links and you should find these in my shop. Um, yeah, <laughs> my, my train of thought. I'm like, uh, okay. So what I have done is I have just pulled from my stash um a lot of different book pages and these are definitely book pages worthy of hoarding <laughs> um but i want to share i i just want to share but i've come across in my antiquing and whatnot some really amazing small small books and small book pages and ah, i i love smalls I don't do a ton of small journals, but I love them. And I wanted to share. I've got so many wonderful pages that I just I just want to share. So let me basically show you kind of what each kit uh should have or something very similar, okay? So these are from a and this is I think I was told that this is like an old Dutch language um, and it was a two-part book, uh, song book that had these scriptures or something, I, I'm not sure, and then music at the top of, let's see, and these pages. So the book was like this and I've never seen a book like in two parts like that. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. And these are gold gilt edged pages too. I just, you know, these things are just so cool. And a lot of the pages, when I say, <clears throat> excuse me, when I say 70, that's 70, this is counting as one. But actually, you know, you see that as four, but a lot of them are doubled. You know, like this is one, but it's double. <laughs> if I could speak, I could explain myself. Okay, so just to give you an example of what's in here, this is a little book, Paradise Lost, and it's just, it's got rag paper, guys. This is rag paper. I just like, fantastic, amazing. And, oh, Paradise Paradise Regained, book two. There were three little books. Paradise Lost, Paradise... Paradise... Why can't I speak? <laughs> anyway, these are... Uh, these are vintage. I don't know that they're antique because they're, they're only from the, the 1940s. Um, and it's a man's diary. He's a, a lumberjack. And he, he kept five-year diaries. I just, I, you know, it was amazing to come across those. 
And then we've got old book pages of um, dictionary. This is another rag paper. These are, it's some religious type. I don't know the, the um, it's old English, it appears to be. But look at the amazing aged pages. I mean, these are, you guys, this is ugh, yummy stuff. I love using it, and I just want to share some of that with all of you as well. So this is from that, that uh, song book again. And another book. And there will be a few that have, that I had edged with washi tape that I was going to put in a journal, but I didn't. And so some of them will have uh, one or two pages that have been kind of worked on a little bit, but they're still, you know, you can do anything you want. Uh, encyclopedia. And these are the small ones that I have made into journals this size, the four by six ish. So, and just, this was just, I don't know, it was just somewhere, and it they had some fun images, and so I threw one of those in there. This, again, is um, rag paper. I don't know the, some of these are in the 1800s, some are a bit earlier, but I'm not giving them a, you know, a definite uh, name or time, but you can see the amazing aging on these and images. So I tried to include, you know, several um, of those pages. Here's another religious, I think, um, and I don't know what the language is. So just, this is just a lot of compilation of a lot of time and going through this I think are some old scriptures I don't know uh, what language again and here th these are this is rag paper not all of it many of them are not rag paper but they are old and very sturdy some are fragile some are fragile this is an amazing rag paper here. I don't know, maybe you can see the, even the lines on this, but I sold several of these little books because I came across a whole set of them and I kept one or two for myself and then I, I sold the other books with this amazing rag paper in it. Just more, and as you can see, so many of these are, uh, you get more pages, more bang for your buck, if you will. And this is a Paradise Lost here uh, from a different book, that from that little one that I showed you earlier. So just old things, this is not, uh, this is a recipe book, a handmade recipe book from somewhere and these hand you know these typed uh recipes on colored paper and plain paper you can see the aging in that they're just fun to work with as well so there's several of those and then uh here again i i don't know the language of these but these will make amazing bases for journals um, this was a book that had never been opened, um, or never been read, should we say, because this came in a whole huge sheet. It was all put together, and I had to tear apart to get the pages, which was very cool. So, anyway, and all of those came from, you know, just tearing those apart. Okay. Okay. Sorry if I sound a little bit rattled. It's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I just get really excited, you know, about these. And so, so I've got a few of those. I've got 10 of those. 10 is kind of the number I like to work with when I do something. And so that I wasn't taking away from the 10 
that I will have in my shop, I went ahead and pulled some papers that came from those, you know, from those books and things that I'm sharing so that we could work on some stuff together. Just to give you some ideas of some of the fun things, you know, that you can do with a bundle like this. So, now don't laugh at me. Well, you can laugh at me. I don't care. <laughs> I laugh at me all the time. So, I was in Hobby Lobby the other day, and they had all of their fabric was 40% or was it 50%? One of those. I can't remember. Off. Look at this. You guys, I am so in love with gnomes. I have just... Christmas gnomes. i just so excited about them. And now I'm starting to see the gnomes in all different applications. I've seen Valentine gnomes. I've seen St. Patrick gnomes. <laughs> and look at this. Look at these little bees. These gnomes are bees, I think. You've got the little wings here, right? And you've got the antenna coming out. And they have the the uh, black and yellow stripes in their bodies somewhere. Are they just the, like, so cute? <laughs> anyway, I digress. But this is just to explain to you. I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up some of this fabric. I came home and I said, oh, I have to do something. I have to absolutely do something with this, um, with these gnomes. So I pulled my packet out because this was what my intent was, is to show you some of the different things that, uh, you can do with a packet like this and uh, how versatile it is. So the first thing that I did was I made a a tag with a pocket. Now I these are not in this packet but I do carry these in my shop. These are those computer punch cards back in the you know 60s, 70s ish somewhere in there um, and from watching one of Rachel's uh, Roxy weekly uh, challenges I where she decorated these I took that idea and I decorated this originally I wasn't intending on making it a, a uh, pocket but it just kind of worked out that way so what I did was I started with this page and I tore out a piece of that and I tore a piece of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. And I created a pocket. I took a piece of fabric. Here I've got lots of scraps. You may have scraps around. Um, and I did some stitching, so I've got this layer, I've got this layer of fabric, and I've got this layer of book page. And then on top of that, I have added some, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. just a second. We all know, this is cheesecloth, yes, yes, cheesecloth, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And then I put a little cut out one of my little gnomes and then and then she said she added a tiny little tracy label um oh dva let time out <laughs> sorry now for an advertisement <laughs> i have been searching high and low i had cleaned some of the things in my shop you know how we do we we organize them we reorganize and then we put things where we'll be able to find them real easily and then we forget where we put them yeah yeah I know <laughs> I hear you <laughs> well I had lost my Tracy labels and Tracy Fox um, and I was just like what <laughs> so I had picked up a couple of these in an antique shop when I was out and about uh, a few months ago 
and I have created, I stitched pages. This is how it came, like this. And I think it was like a buck or 50 cents. So very in my budget. <laughs> very in my budget. And then what I did was I stitched pages to make pockets. And I've, uh, some of my videos um, show how I've done this with, with then cutting underneath this line here to create an opening for a pocket, to create a pocket. And doing it on both sides, so you've got a pocket on both sides. But you have to be careful when you do this type of thing that you don't cut above the line because that's the bottom and your stuff will fall out. It just won't work. So anyway, I had stitched a bunch of these together and I organized my Tracy labels. Is this just like the most fun, fabulous thing ever? Look at that. I'm just so like, <gasps> gotta use them. Anyway, that advertisement over. <laughs> advertisement over. So, um, what I laid down first was I took, I found one of my book pages. I took one of those and I glued it to my card here and I wrapped it around. It adds just a little bit of strength and just a little bit of interest just uh, to show the vintage you know side of it and I didn't ink this at all this is just natural edging you know an aging natural aging so then I went ahead and glued this on decided to turn it into a pocket a little sleeve there and then what I did was I just took a coffee dyed piece of paper and I cut it in half. This is just a regular eight and a half by 11 inch or A4 size, you know, for if you're in uh, Britain, that area, they have a little different size paper. But I just trimmed it in half. I rounded my corners. And then you've got, look at what a fun, you've got a lot of journaling here. A lot of journaling. You'd be amazed at how much you can even journal just on a tag like that. Um, so you've got a lot of that. And I don't know, I don't know if I should, should I make a, should I make a journal with these little, you know, gnome bees? I don't know. I just, <laughs> just was having fun. So that's one thing that I made with these papers. And then I, I took another page, I took the music paper that I showed you in these pages, and I went ahead, this time I added a ruffle of fabric to give it some more texture for a fun fit, and then I also added the um, cheesecloth to the back, and then glued on my little image of my gnome here, my little bee. <laughs> and then I edged around and I had folded these over on both sides so that it would fit nicely. This is like a five inch, almost, yeah, five inch pocket. And so that's a good size to put in a journal. Um, so that's what I've done so far with my gnome <laughs> fabric with a couple of things here. Now I also did, let me just show you these real quick. If I do quick, I don't do quick very well, do I? <laughs> but and I fussy cut out so that I have an example of every little bee. Um, and I like it a little bit better this way than here. It just, you know, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. This one, I like it, but I think, I think this one is just, I don't know. I just like it edged a little bit more so that it, it shows more of the image, but either way. Okay, so go find yourself some fun fabric, some that you can fussy cut. Make a journal, make some tags, make some whatevers. All right.
let's do something else here. Um, the other thing that I was uh, thinking about doing is making a small journal and using some of these pages in a small journal. So let's just kind of gather some pages together. Let's do that. This is definitely something that I want to put in. This is, uh, this is fabulous. Grief. So a lot of these are, are religious, um, and I'm not trying to push religion on anybody, but uh, many of the old texts that we have are religious texts. That's just, you know, they didn't uh, do a lot of novels and <laughs> that type of thing in that day and time. So let's pick out a few pages that we think might be fun. And then we'll just add some other things, right? Let's go ahead and get one of these. And how big should we make this journal? I don't know. Like a page like this, and this is, happens to be a single page and it looks like it's been folded. Um, this could be a page this way. Um, so we could put that there. This is a double page, so I could also have it be somewhat of this size, which would be five by, I'm measuring here, guys, five by seven. Um, that's maybe a little bigger than what I want to do for this particular project. So, all right. So let's take here, and if you will, just not run away. <laughs> don't run away. Please don't run away. I want to get, I'll get some other papers too. Here's some coffee dyed. It's the other half of that one page. So let's go ahead, and we'll take that. And we're going to want some images too. So for your images you can use uh, you can use Pinterest you just need to make sure try to make sure that what you use you're not infringing on any copyright uh, laws um, but there are many free images on Pinterest that you can use you can there are a plethora of digital artists on Etsy that are just amazing at what they do um, and I have used more consistently I've used Barbara with 49 dragonflies her digitals and I also use Rachel with Roxy creation her digitals I'm on both of their design teams I've been lax um, but that's because of, you know, the, the cancer sometimes gets in the way, you guys. I'll just say it can be a pain in the butt. Now, here's kind of a, car, a card stock. This could be... Um, I don't think I want that as a cover. Let's set that aside. We'll just set that aside for now. So, images... Let me, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on pause, which obviously you won't see it on pause, but that gives me an opportunity to go through my digitals, to go through my Pinterest, and just see what images I may want to use, and to gather a few more papers, uh, to just put a basic, just a basic journal together that you can have fun with and just play with. All right, hang on. Okay, so I have picked up a few of my, uh, some things that I don't use all the time. Uh, ephemera, flowers, birds and bugs, women, uh, to see some images there. I've also brought over a six and a half by four and a half 
uh, little scrapbooking. This is florals, pretty petals that uh, we might find something from. Here's a little six by six pad romance novel that's got some fun papers in it. So, you know, look through your stuff and don't be afraid to go back and use, try to use as much of your own as you can without purchasing more stuff if if possible um, it's just a good way to you know to use you know use what we have okay so I also brought in some other papers and things that that we can add pages to and in addition to that don't forget that you can also use stamped images these are things that have been stamped um, so we might can use something like that. Okay, so for a cover page, I think what I'm going to do is just take um, a couple of pages, some pretty florals. Um, 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 um. Now I could use this and put my gnomes in there, right? I could. But, alright. Don't make it harder than it needs to be, Rhonda. Okay, fine. <laughs> so let's do this. Should we kind of make this sort of the the size of the book just for fun all right so what we're gonna do we want to put these pages together and I'm not going to show you everything on this as far as uh, what to do that way this is just to show you how you can use some of these fun papers these old vintage delicious delicious things and incorporate them into your journal projects so let's get a glue page and let's just glue this down and this is how I'm going to bring these together. Um, you can easily add other pages. You don't have to have like double spreads. And this is one of the things that I just want to show you uh, real easily that can make it just fun that you've got lots of different options. Okay. So we will just place this. Well, you know, I'm just shaky, so I'm not even going to try to get that first first lap. So let's do it this way. We'll turn it over, and we're going to give ourselves just a little bit of space here. Okay, going to trim this off. And... We will do a, a cover. We can either put fabric on here. We can put washi tape. We can do another strip of paper. Whatever you want to do. This is just to kind of hold it together. I'm not trying to get too detailed about it. Okay, so let's continue with these fun papers. Okay, so if I do something like that, and then we'll bring in, this is, this is just a, a coffee dyed uh, scrap piece, and I am just doing a little bit of measuring on my board here, so I'm making this one like five inches. And let's fold that in half. 
mm, let's see, that would be like four and a half. I actually don't want it quite that wide. I want it to come in just a little bit more, so I'm going to take off another little bit. And of course, we keep the keep these. Now you can iron. This is freezer paper. Uh, in the U.S., you find it in the grocery store um, where the you know bags and and lunch sacks and that kind of thing are. You can iron this. It's a it's actually a plastic to another piece of paper um, or you could just leave as is this is not something you can write on because of the wax here but you can certainly decorate it you can use it as a fun you know as a fun paper all right so let's just kind of let's just keep it going let's see let's do Let's do one of these, and then let's do a, I think we'll take a recipe here, if I can get it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, yellow, green, whatever. Ooh, ice cream dessert. We'll fold that in half. We'll put that there. Let's do a... Now this is a um, parchment paper, and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this one six, okay? I'm gonna so I hope that you are, I just hope that things in your life are going well. We're just kind of playing here. We're just, we may add, we may subtract, whatever. And here's, oh, love this so much. Love that so much. Okay, so we'll put that there. And I think I want another... Well, let's do, let's do this. Only I don't want it the same size. I want to cut this down just a little bit. So I'm just going to put this here, but knowing that, you know, we're going to, we're going to cut that down. Um, and then let's go with, well, let's do this. The diary. Fabulous. And let's go with this. Now let's count. Let's see what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then our cover, uh, ten. Um, oh, let's, let's get a bag or two. Um, I'm still in the room. Just coming over to take a couple of bags that we can decorate and add. So, these are our chili bags. I did a video on that, so we may put those in a different spot. For now, I'm just going to set them aside. And then we probably want something pretty for the um, for the inside. And you know, let's go ahead. I believe this is Triple V Vintage. Their paper they do excellent. Love, love, love. Let's see. Let's, I folded that a little bit. Squampish. Is that a word? <laughs> and let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not 
even now. So let's go ahead on this one and let's take off a couple of inches. Let me, I'm still going to use my, my rulers here as a guide. We'll just tear that off and save that for another something. And actually that can go in the middle and we could put some fun images there. So let's just see, you know, just, just for fun. I mean, this is like a, a no brainer. This is not one that, you know, you're probably going to make into an heirloom, whatever. I mean, you could just depends on the amount of time that you spend and what you decide to add to it. So this could be the cover and I could reinforce this or this could be just like the opening page and we could do another cover on here, right? Um, 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 um. What if we did? Well, let me get... Well, it's quite pretty as a cover smaller not going to worry about the cover just yet so you've got writing you've got things you can embellish here you can add paper here you can put pictures here you can cover that to where you can journal you've got writing here picture you've got fun background for whatever you want you've got writing here you've got a fun uh, page that can be embellished and enlarged you can add lace and stamping and just all kinds of things and these old book pages i on i think maybe we might need more than one book page of those old guys now, this one was folded. How about we do this one? And let's... What if we put that in here? Okay. Okay, I think, you know, I think that can work. Okay, now what I want to do... Um, and I'll have to continue this in another video because this is, this would be getting too long. But what I want to do is to go ahead and embellish just a little bit some of these pages. We can get started and then uh, we'll do more in, in uh, another video. And I'll show you um, how you can make some of the other pages kind of fun as well so this would be typically this would be something that you could definitely send stencil on your stamp to take away the white white uh, to ink around and whatnot if you like the white white then that's perfect you know just leave it there we can put pockets in so let's do that let's let's add Oh, too bad these weren't, you know, like designed for <laughs> for this little book. And I have a lot of ephemera that I have made. Um, but I don't want to pull that. I want I want us to just um, just kind of uh, start from from fresh just to do. So let's go ahead, guys. I am going to put a book page here and blue page, and let's let's do some stenciling. Let me grab my stencils. I don't have a lot. I don't use them all the time but I do like them. Let's just take this out and see. And I don't know where I got this, honestly, but this is something that you turn and you can have different 
designs on the back. So I think we'll go with this and let me grab out. I am using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide for this. And we'll just see. The whole idea, guys, is just to do things that you love to do. Be you. Be authentic. That's my word for this year, is to be authentic. Be who I am. Do things that make me happy. Um, my cancer journey's not very happy. <laughs> but I'm making the best of it, you know, trying to anyway. So we're, you know, we're, we have no complaints. Let's put it that way. I, uh, I feel like, you know, I have just been truly blessed and one of the big blessings that I believe that the Lord has given me, and that is you. You are amazing. And, well, that wasn't didn't go too well, did it? <laughs> Look, I've got a line right there. So, we'll have to just cover that up. And I haven't even decided on this. Do I want a theme? Do I, do I, don't I, will I, won't I? Um, let's see. You know, no. Not going to worry about that. We'll just, that'll evolve. Okay. You can also use stickers. You can add to your pages. I think this would be a good one to add. Let's move that off and let's see about doing something sorry if I seem disjointed my dears. Oh that could be good. Just adding another little piece here to give it a little bit more uh, dimension, add a little more interest. Okay, so let's go with this. Well, and then let's just do. do this. We'll set that aside. Now, this one, I think we will go ahead and glue that down. And you can also stitch if you would like. Come on. Oh. Sometimes these little bottles with the art glitter glue, they do not want to... You know what? I'm going to switch and we will get one that I feel confident will work. And we will glue down. You can, of course, stitch. Use your favorite glue, whatever that is. People will tell you one thing or another. I'm not going to tell you. Just, just you know, do you. If if you have a certain something that you really like and other people are like, well, why would you use that? doesn't matter. If you're enjoying it, that's okay. You know, then do it. Okay. So I have just glued that. I could stitch around there um, also if I want. Now, let me just take a peek see on this ephemera thingy bopper we could certainly do something fun we could we could so it's just a matter of then you just kind of decorate you just do you know what makes you happy 
I'm not sure. Mm. We could. Let's see. Well, I'm. Let's look into women. That's nice. It's fabric. Well, we've got lots to choose from, don't we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just really just kind of enjoying I like the you know I kind of like in the neutral look a little bit here too guys um, I'm liking that well maybe we'll just set some of these aside okay so let's see first of all Do I want to even cover up that whole book page? I don't know. But, whoa. <laughs> Hello. I will go ahead and ink my edges. A little bit on here. I like my edges inked. I also like them not inked. It just kind of depends on, you know, what kind of mood I'm in, really. And there are times where I look at it and I'm like, oh, I should have inked that. Or that I'm like, oh, why did I ink that? <laughs> so there's no, you know, there's no one way to do anything. Can you guys believe we are almost to the middle of February that's that's just crazy that really is crazy okay I think so to make this so that I'm quitting in a <laughs> we've already gone past the reasonable but I know some of you love the long videos and some of you do not and for those that do not, just fast forward whatever you want to fast forward through. Um, and for those that do, I'm glad you do. I'm just having a fun time here just working, chatting with you, really. Yeah, that's just like, that's a highlight for me, is uh, to just be able to visit with you. Because you're, I don't know, you're just, I love you guys so much. And for those of you that are new, I am so glad that you found me, that you're here. I feel like I have the best subscribers ever. And I feel like everybody has just been so amazing and kind and courteous and just, wow. I'm just blown away by our community. And whether you're new or whether you've been with me for a long time. You are a big part of my journey. You really are. And I love you. I am wearing my cancer hats again, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, hubby had to shave my head because it was coming out in clumps. <laughs> and that's just after one infusion. Man, that that last cancer treatment, that was that was a boogie. <laughs> a boogie woogie. Okay. So I think that is very cool. I really like that. Now, it might need to have a a Tracy label or some other little addition on there. Could even have a flower or a bird. 
flower or a bird or something. Ooh, pop of color. That could be fun. But let's set that aside. Because I think we're going to need to wind this up, my dears. But you get the idea. We are just, I'm just playing. And I'm just going to make this fun and easy and not not everything that you create has to be an heirloom kind of thing some things you just want to play and have a good time and just try out some different art techniques maybe this could be like a little journal for you to try different things that you've been a little nervous to try and then you put these amazing pages in you know Anyway, these packs that uh, I'm sharing with you, you can, you can do an awful lot of stuff. <laughs> They'll go a long ways for you. Um, and I appreciate you letting me into your home today. I love you, and I hope that everything is going well for you. And I will see you soon. We will continue... I'm going to continue off camera and work some more on this and then I'll do another video to kind of wind it up and, and show you what I've done and, and uh, maybe a couple of techniques we'll do together. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye now.